Hey everybody, this is Lord Magicus. We're playing more Merfolk in Modern. We are playing Simic, despite what it looks like here. Our opponent is on the play, and they are a Yorion deck. And to be perfectly honest, I don't think this hand's going to do it. We have five mana sources and two one drops. That's not really great. So, uh, this is better. I think we'll keep this. Probably just put force in the bottom. Now we actually have a reasonable curve that can do stuff. All right. Let's see what they are on. So windswept, forest, utopia sprawl. I might actually want to save the tide shaper now so I can blow up this thing. Uh, you know what? This might be enchantress, so that that could be hard to deal with. Um, I guess I'm gonna play. Waterlog Grove. I don't want to tell them what we're on just yet. It will mean that if we're going to dismember something, it's going to be very painful. But if it is Enchantress, it's worth doing it. Wall of Blossoms. Actually, that's not an Enchantress card. This might be... Um, what the fuck is This could be the Ephemerate, like, what, the Soul Herder deck? Alright, let's see if there's something we care about more. Okay. Now that's going to hurt them a lot. I don't know if I want to dis... I guess I should, because I don't want to give them a target for this thing, so... If they do have Ephemerate, I don't want them blinking that thing. Alright, so let's ruin their entire career. Sorry, opponent, but not today. Okay. Still not exactly sure what we're up against. There could be a lot of things. I'm assuming this is an Ephemerate deck though, because they do have Yurion and they do have Wall of Blossoms, which is a really good blink target, so. But it, we, we could be surprised, it could be something else, there's no guarantee that, you know, it is what it is, so. I think here, what do they have, like, I think we just play Sphalen this turn. I don't think they're blocking my Tide Shaper. Then maybe next turn we can draw uh, land and play two lords. I can F6 through my turn because I can't force in my turn, but on their turn um, I can't. Okay, so no, they have they have a forest island mountain, so maybe this... Ah, fuck Skyclave, I hate this thing so much. It has to get rid of this, right? Yeah, That's, that sucks. But it's not, it's not without, you know, we're not screwed yet, so. Alright, they're just trying to build up mana. So maybe this is a Bring Delight deck. It's definitely possible. They have one card left in hand, so. So I guess we want land right now. Um, It's not land, but at least to get, get an attack in, so. So still land next turn would still be really good. I just we're just hoping they don't have like bring to light. What the fuck are they casting for six mana? I don't like this. This is scary. Typically these decks are not very good matches for us, like they usually have lots of really powerful creature interaction, and that's where Merfolk struggles. Quarter calling for X equals 5 means they're probably getting Solitude. That would be my assumption. They got Fury. That's interesting. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I'm surprised they have Fury in their deck. So is this, this can't be like Elementals, right? This still has to just be... Um, Uh, 
Yeah, this, this just has to be like a normal um, ephemerate deck, I would assume. Fury is definitely a hard one for us to destroy, because like, it's, it's like almost always a two for one versus us. Here, if I guess if we draw a land and we can attack for nine island walk, that would do it. So we, we need we need to draw land, right? That's our only hope here. Oh fuck, no, they're gonna just Yurion and destroy us. Never mind. Yeah, you know, they have Birds of Paradise, so uh, we have like basically no hope of actually defeating them here. Because they had enough mana to Yurion and blink everything. So we basically lose this game. It was close. But they had like they needed to not have like the Court of Calling. Like once once they got down to that being their last card, that was too much. So here Fury like yeah, they're blinking fucking Furies, and like the more they do this, like the yeah, we just basically can't beat this. And they're gonna be attacking us for a bajillion damage next turn. Um so I play one Lord, it doesn't matter because they're still attacking me for way more damage than I can actually deal with. Like, we're not racing this. <sighs> that, that fucking sucked, that was brutal. Alright, um, how do we defeat this? Spaloon is okay. They do have Skyclave. Actually, this is a match where we want the Torpor Orb, right? Yeah, this card is, this should be fantastic against them. I don't think we want Borrower. Uh, let's see, Ether Gust and Spreading Seas are also both okay because they they're playing Utopia Sprawl, so seizing them is good, and Ether Gusting their stuff is also fine too. I think Dismember is fine. I actually don't know about Force of Negation. I guess it can counter stuff, but it doesn't counter a lot. So what do I want to do with this? The orb is going to be the most important thing, so... Hmm. It's actually a pretty difficult choice. Because neither of these cards deal with Skyclave Apparition, which... You know, this does, but I'm just trying to think, like... Force of Vigor would be a problem, so maybe I want to keep the Force of Negation. Like, Aether Gust is definitely very powerful. Um, it only hits the green stuff, though, and they do have other things. Where, like, they both hit Chord. They would both hit Company if they were playing it, but I have a feeling they're only playing, like, Chord of Calling. Maybe a Ladrami. Um, however, this is this doesn't actually, like, really answer the problems. Hmm. Could take out maybe one Spaloon and two Force for the Aether Gusts. It's not the worst. Could be better, but like, that's okay. I'm just trying to think, is this worth it or not? No, I think I actually want to keep these. We'll do it like this. This is definitely a match where Torpor Orb should be really good if we can resolve it. I don't know that we can keep this. It's not terrible, but... It has no pressure in it, so I don't know. I don't think it's actually doing what we want it to do. Now this is much better. We, we'll definitely keep this. Um, I have to put something in the bottom. I guess I could put an island in the bottom here. I don't actually know that I'm going to play Tide Shaper in turn one. I might want to keep it back for Utopia Sprawl. Maybe we can draw another land. So, nope, they're on bird this time. 
So I think this instead, um, because they're on bird, I might just trickster it in their upkeep. I guess it could have been worth taking out some tricksters because of uh, the potential for... Are they going to lightning bolt this thing? Okay, sure. Yeah, because it does lose some value with Torpor Orb, I guess maybe Tide Shaper could have came out for that reason too. I didn't think about that. Maybe that maybe those are the cards we would want to bring in for Aether Gust. Oh, fuck me. They still have the Renin 6. It's so brutal. So now this Tide Shaper is basically useless. I guess we're just playing Sphalum. If I play Tide Shaper and like Mist Binder, what's gonna happen is they'll just like bolt the Mist Binder and then Ren and Sick pick off Tide Shaper. Whereas at least here it's gonna cost them both the bolt and the Ren and Six to, if they want to kill this thing. Nope, there's Omnath. It's not good. They have the fucking combo, Omnath plus uh, Ren. Um, well, I guess we kind of have to do this now because I need to be able to attack Ren in six. I can just pitch another Spaloon here. But yeah, this is not looking great. They have the ability to go fucking crazy if they want. Yeah, I can't answer that. That's just going to ruin my entire career. Where the f I, if I, if we had the orb early enough, like that could have really made a difference here, but I don't think we could afford to mulligan to 5 for it. So this is just going to be an example where we're just going to get overrun by this stuff just because we didn't have orb basically. Oh fuck. Yeah, like Look at this, like every single thing that they've played, like aside from this bird, is just like fucked us. So I, I think that's going to end up killing us right now. Th like I can't come back against that. That's there. This isn't like Svalun is not enough to turn the tide here. I, I, I know that I've like said that before and like been wrong, but like this is re this is way too much like that. You're, you're not going to reasonably beat this. They have this, these two things, They're, they continue to draw cards. They also have Yurion. They can actually get enough mana to just put Yurion in their hand, blink this, and do this. Like, it, it, this game is over. And it, it, it's like 100% over the turn they want it to be over. So what they do, if all they have to do is just put Yurion in their hand, then blink Solitude, exile this, and we're fucked. We're not, we can't deal with the entire board. This is too much stuff. Really, this is the problem card for us, though. Like Fury, the the thing is, like in Legacy, they always they already had Pyrokinesis, but one, they have Force of Will, so it could counter a creature or a spell. But like two, Force of Negation could at least like counter Pyrokinesis. We have no Force effects in Modern that can actually counter Fury. Like the card is just like strictly fucking better than Pyrokinesis is. So they're gonna attack here. I mean, I have to force them to play the Yurion, but it doesn't matter because I can't force any of the important cards in there. Like, the only thing I can force really is, like, the Planeswalker or, like, the Court of Calling. So, and I think, like, those are still important enough that you need to keep the forces in here, but, like, there's just, yeah, otherwise, like, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, I, 
that this is over. Sure. They're there on six cards with this board, like there what are we supposed to do here? We're getting attacked for like a bajillion damage each turn. Like it this is all irrelevant. They're also gaining, you know, four life a turn and getting four free mana a turn because of this combo. Like this is just stupid. I don't know, like this this basically just says draw a card every turn, but like when Omnath's in play, it's like draw a card, add four mana, and gain four life a turn. They can use the mana. Um whatever. This is we're done. They have Kiki Jiki in their deck. Like I'm sorry. With, without Torpor Orb, we have like no hope of defeating this. This this is it's it's very uh, similar to I guess the Elementals deck, right? But this is a Yurion version, and they are playing some stuff that's not Elemental based, so they don't. Have, it doesn't look like they have the Risen Reef stuff going on, but still, like you can just see how fucking stupid like all of this stuff is. This is one of the main reasons I think that Force of Will needs to be in Modern. All right, for like, and I I will I will um defend this point until I die. Um, the reason that like you know spell combo in modern sucks is because force of negation exists but creature combo stuff like you know heliod or um prime time or like decks like this these decks get to just like run totally free because they're like creature combo -y kind of decks because force of will doesn't exist to counter them it's the same reason like why you know a lot of stoneforge decks you know are so strong is because we don't have a force of will in modern to actually counter the like the ridiculously powerful creatures and I mean I don't think it's unfair because like it's still a two for one to deal with like one card so you have to still exile an extra card from her force of will and it's really hard to actually cast it for five mana so there's basically no option like with force of negation to cast it fairly most of the time so like it modern is just going to be like that for a long time where like until force of will comes into this format like creature combo is just going to be ridiculously like stupid like the, the the creature combos will almost always just be strictly better than a spell based combo that's why decks like storm suffer so much because there's way more hate against like the spells than there are against the creatures and every single one of these creatures is it has like you know multiple um effects where even if like they come into play and you like you know use a removal spell on it like a doom blade or something they've already gotten a spell effect out of it so it's like you're not even like countering it with a removal spell so like this is nothing new but like this is i think a perfect match that highlights you know the weakness of like modern just relying on only force of negation to try to keep some of this stuff in check and i think it is one of the reasons that like the elementals deck has been like doing so well they're playing a bunch of free spells and there's like no free spells that can counter them you have to rely on like getting to like two mana and getting like one of your hate rocks to stick before they you know actually just tear your hand apart like so it's it, it's rough so yeah with without torpor orb here i don't think that we really had any realistic chance of beating this uh this this match is just terrible we we have put three in the sideboard for this but if we don't draw them we don't draw them and we're just going to lose that so it is what it is um it's all right. Uh, th th there was a it's something that we calculated in our deck building. Like it's gonna happen if um, we put the cards in, but if you don't have them, then so be it. That's it's historically one of the weaker things for Merfolk. Like we tend to struggle with these creature combo decks. It's like yeah, stuff like Curse Catcher and Spell Pierce and Force of Negation. All the things that we like to play in our deck are really good against spells. They're not so much good against creatures. That's why we do so well against control, but do so fucking miserably against decks like Prowess because we don't have good interaction for creatures in this format. It's like removal spells are nice, but like most of the time removal spells are not even like one for oneing the creatures. So it's it is what it is. Anyway, please give this a thumbs up. Uh we'll see how our last match goes and everybody, I will see you again tomorrow. Take it easy.